Now we do want to take you out into the Atlantic uh, tracking a uh, hurricane Lee. It has gone through that rapid intens or intensification uh, overnight into this morning. It is a category five storm now and you can see that the hurricane out over the open waters of the Atlantic. So it's going to stay north and east of the uh, Leeward Islands. That's the uh, good news for uh, for right now as it moves off to the northwest. But look at the uh, wind speeds with this. It is up to 165 miles per hour right now. So again, this is a powerful category five hurricane. It's moving off to the west and northwest at 14 miles per hour. So let's put the uh, track on there for you and see where this is going to be going over the uh, next couple of days. Now it could strengthen even more late tonight going into the early morning hours tomorrow around 1 a.m. We're talking about winds of 175 miles per hour. So that is going to bring some rough surf, large swells through the uh, islands and that will push up into the uh, Bahamas and the U.S. Virgin Islands as we get into the weekend. Still weakening some, but a powerful major hurricane still even as we get into the early part of the week on that northwesterly track. So it stays away from the islands, not making landfall. And as we take a look at the uh, computer model, Models. The good news here is even though this is a powerful major hurricane, all of the computer models now at some point have Hurricane Lee making that hard right turn, maybe keeping it to west of Bermuda, so maybe not a direct hit there and keeping it up farther north out over the open waters of the Atlantic, even as we head toward the latter half of next week. But again, Lee is a very powerful storm. We have Margo out there as well, well out over the open waters of the Atlantic, also not posing any threat to land, but we'll be keeping an eye on this.